I'm Christine Campbell. I'm a psychotherapist in private practice in Burbank. I'm a marriage and family therapist. I've been in the field for 20 years. A lot of what I do is help people to become aware of those negative patterns about, of what triggers them and of how they escalate so that they can begin to interrupt those. People become anxious because they um, think scary thoughts and they stop breathing and usually they're trying not to feel something. So we work with raising their awareness of their thought process and how it is that they scare themselves. Um, things like what if questions or if only questions, things that kind of ground them either in the future or the past rather than that anything, any kind of thought process that takes them out of the moment can cause anxiety. I don't have any particular interest in being neutral or anonymous. I think more so than some therapists, I'm very much myself. I want to be myself. I try to be myself. Um, I'm not afraid to have an opinion. Group therapy is really effective for people who feel alienated socially, um, for people who are lonely, um, who don't get enough feedback in their lives. Anyone dealing with relationship difficulties of any kind, you can practice your you know, with this whole group of people right there and then. Grief is a pretty intense experience and it feels unbearable to people a lot of times. So having the support of a therapist is really important to be able to kind of face into some of those feelings is one thing. And to know how to do that in a way that isn't just debilitating. Defending against grief and not wanting to feel it is oftentimes what gets people hung up. And that when they can grieve a loss, it sort of opens their heart and it opens them to, they sort of become more aware of choices they have and more open to relationships. I think people who are caregivers of people with illness need lots of support and need a lot of help with boundaries and self-care, learning how to take care of themselves, but really just need a lot of support for what is just a, just a really um, difficult job. Oftentimes people think of coming to therapy as a weakness or as a crutch, but in fact I think just the opposite is true, that it takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of strength to be honest with yourself and honest with another person and, you know, to say, I'm ready to change. It's not an easy thing to do. So if you feel like doing it, I think certainly don't talk yourself out of it and take the first step and you come in and you find out it's, it's not as scary as you think and it is really a noble effort.